Joe Clean, Southern Hospitality, February 11, 1998. Tennis rackets in hand, ascending the stairs with Royal Poinciana, Joe declares to Justin, well, at least the trip wasn't a total waste of time. We got these as he wiggles two rackets back and forth. Yeah, Justin says with a smirk as he unlocks the door of Suite 2C. That's good because we totally failed as hunter-gatherers. I know it's Sunday and all, but 9 o'clock seems a bit late to open the mini-mart. Guess we'll have to settle for fruit until later. No, Joe replies, Misty and I will have to settle for fruit. The gal at the check-in desk confirmed there's both a grocery and some restaurants within walking distance, and the grocery opens at 8. You really think Kelsey and Cord are going to be up before then? I know Missy would be snoozing if it wasn't for our tennis anyone. Justin shrugs as they step inside. I just thought it'd be nice to have provisions laid out at the feet of our beloved. Hey, he adds, nodding to Phil, you're up early. Phil, sitting on the couch with the TV tuned to ESPN, replies, Not compared to you, I'm not. What'd you two do, go for a walk? You obviously didn't go for a swim. We tried to get some sundries, Joe says, but the market doesn't open until nine. I did grab tennis rackets for Misty and me, though. I was thinking about that, Phil replies. It struck me a little funny when you asked Daryl about tennis rackets and he said they brought their own. Sounds like a pool shark or a tennis shark. Didn't he ask about a wager? Yeah, Joe replies, nodding slowly. He did. Hmm, I'll need to speak to Misty about that. Speak to Misty about what? His bride asked from behind him. Good morning, she adds, nodding to her two brothers-in-law. What's going on? Nothing, Joe replies, spanning the three steps that separate groom from bride and bussing his wife. Phil just mentioned the Lewis's brought tennis rackets with them. I mean, who does that except avid players? I just want to be smart in that little wager thing in case they're, you know, tennis sharks. Misty smiles and shakes her head. Like what? International tennis swindlers? First, they ply us with champagne. Then they loosen us up at the casino before, boom, they take all our money in a winner-takes-all racing for Pink's tennis match? It's a good thing for us Daryl slipped up and showed his hand before he bamboozles us out of our house. Misty pauses, held him to the side, and eyebrow cocked. I'll be right back, she adds, nodding in the direction of the bathroom. Dang, Phil says as the bathroom door closes. You need a Band-Aid or maybe a tourniquet? Those were some deep cuts. Well, it is a pretty silly idea, isn't it? Justin asks. I like the racing for pinks bit. Goes well with Joe's tennis shark coming. Yeah, Joe says, shaking his head, walking to the coffee maker and starting a fresh pot. Don't marry a New Yorker if you can't take a little caustic sarcasm.